Hi, welcome to Peer Tech Talk. In this video, we are going to look at Sega RTT, or Real Time Transfer using the Renaissance EKRA 4M Freeboard and eSquare Studio with FSP 2.3.0. Semi hosting printf is commonly used to send debug text using an UART or an USB using CDC. Semi hosting do have some downsides though. It can be slow. It uses extra hardware peripherals and it also has an effect on real-time behavior for the application. Sego RTT are freely downloadable. I'll put a link in the description below. It's easy to install and uses no extra hardware for the debug interface. So no extra hardware is sacrificed and also offers bidirectional communication. This will be a two episode video. And in this first one, I will show where to download the Sega software and also show how to get the needed files from the, from the Sega download into the eSquare Studio project. Make the needed configurations and get the communication up and running. In the second episode, I will build upon this video with creating a simple bidirectional project and toggling an LED from the terminal. If this sounds interesting, then please consider to subscribe and like. And if you want to get notification when I release a new video, then also please hit the bell. Some prerequisites for this video. To do this, you need to have eSquare Studio and the FSP installed. I have videos covering the eSquare Studio and FSP, so take a look at these if needed. To get the Sega software, go to the page Sega, and there is a link in the description below. In this page, you go down to the JLink software and documentation pack, where you click for downloads. There you have all the versions and older ones as well. So I will use the one up here. Accept the terms and condition and download the software. When the download is done, just install the software and uh, use the default path for it. I have installed it under the C drive and under program 86 and um, beneath there is a folder called Sagor. In the folder Sagor uh, there is the JLink and under here this, uh, there are the samples you will be looking for. And under the samples you will have a folder called RTT. Here is a uh, zipped file called Sagor RTT version 696 in my case .zip. Copy the file and paste it to a, a place where you can find it easily. So I downloaded it to my desktop and unpacked it. So here you have the packed version and here you have the unpacked version. It's actually crucial that you unpack it, otherwise you can't uh, use the files. Uh, here you also have a new menu called RTT, contains of five files. And we need the H and the C files to be copied into our project. So just keep them at hand and we will be using them at the shorter state. So now we start eSquare Studio. I will start a project bare metal and I won't talk it through it. We have done so before, so I will just make a, a bare metal one. We give it a project name. We select which board we are using, and in my case, we use the, the newly released board from Renaissance, the EKRA4 M3, with the Cortex M33, and also with uh, a trust zone in this one. So we go and select. EKRA4 M3. And there we see it's a Cortex M33 and it's with 144 pins. Uh, this uh, device, the M33, uh, offers the availability to have trust zone. We will not use it, so we will go with the flat non-trust zone project in this case. And we will make a bare metal minimal.
So we don't need to do anything with the FSP configuration, so we just generate the project content. That is quite fast to do. So we open the source folder, and in the source folder we create a new subfolder. And we call it RTT. Now go to the place where you just unzipped these four files from the Sega. Copy those and paste it under this folder. So now the four files are in there. Great. So now we go for the HAL entry C. And we can also go to the C++ perspective instead of the FSP configuration by clicking this device. In the HAL entry C, we now need to include uh, the Sega. And now we can actually use a feature with uh, eSquare Studio. So if I hit Control and Space, it will auto fill out the, what's the include. And then we can also do the same here. We can include uh, with control space there and it says RTT. And then we can just hit S and control space. And it also will say that is which one of these H files we are going to include. I'm going to include this one. I'm doing the same. And now I would like to have the standard IO. So I will use this, standard io.h, like so. Those are the files that we need. Then we can go down to the to do, add your own code here and give some space. Now we need to enter some code. So we will start with having an integer. We call it x and it should light it to the value zero. We make a small one loop. So we start entering some code. And we have the printf. There we have a printf. And it's asked for which buffer index. Uh, you can have several buffers, but we go with zero. And then the string that we would like to have uh, printed out. We can make an incrementation on that one as well. Oops. Then we will have a small software delay. And we will have it the, the delay on on one. And on the units, we will have seconds. Like so. Great. And now we try to compile it. Oops, there was two commas there. Okay, looks better. Zero errors, zero warnings. So that looks much better. Uh, now we do like this. We have built a project. Uh, we now go to the debug and we find the map file. The map file is there and we are looking for 
Segger underscore RTT. Like so, close. We are looking for this address. So just take a note on that one and uh, so, so you have it handy. Then we can try to build a project or debug the project. Switch to the debug configuration. And we launch it. And the code is running. If we go to the installation folder for the Sega, we will look for the RTT viewer and launch that one. So now we have it up here. Here in the viewer, we go to the file, connect, USB. We make sure that this is the correct target one. And uh, normally it says auto detection here. Uh, but we will now go to the address and there we will paste in the uh, address that we just uh, found out from uh, the map file. And that's it. So now we have communication with the, the link here and you see it says write the test and uh, it increments every second. So now that part one is done and I hope you liked it and in the next part I will build upon this project and make the bidirectional communication. Please do subscribe, hit like and if you want to have a notification when I release future videos please also hit the bell icon. See you in the next one, bye!